and welcome to the Stephanie Stevens Show. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It's the Stephanie Stevens Show. Stephanie Stevens Show. It's Stephanie, the Stephanie, the Stephanie Stevens Show, y'all. It's the Stephanie Stevens Show. Tell all your friends, it's the Stephanie Stevens Show, y'all. And tonight, my show is sponsored by the Beverly Hills Hotel, Stephanie's Tea Room, and Ryan Seacrest Productions. Mm -hmm. Coming to you live from the red carpet at the 2019 Annual Golden Globe Awards. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you all the 411 on who dropped kicked who this week. Starting out with the red carpet winners. Mm -hmm. Now y'all know, as y'all know, there was a lot of stars on the red carpet last night at the um, 2019 Golden Globe Awards. They, Ryan Seacrest hired me to come down there and um, um, yeah, interview the celebrities. So I'm going to give you my 411 on all of the celebrities that I got to interview. Now I want to get this off the off the um, radar right from the get-go. Now, I had my best dress and worst dress right off the top. No, 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 it wasn't Lady Gaga. Best dress went to Julia Roberts. I thought she was the best dress, and she looked beautiful for being almost 60 years old. She looked amazing. Nice choice, Julia. Clean and just nice. And Ryan liked you on the red carpet. You looked good, and I thought you looked good. We couldn't believe our eyes. You're 60 years old and looked that good. That was amazing. Our worst dress, the worst dress, was, um, what's that girl name? Uh, Janelle, Janelle Roney, or whatever her name is, that singer, Miss, Miss Cover Girl. Girl, you were a mess. Where were you going in that gold hat? I couldn't believe. Um, listen, you was a small woman, and you couldn't call up Johnny Versace or Chanel. You wore something that your friend made from the church. Girl, that was awful. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that again. And I know you made some money from the um, Couple Girl commercials, so you you, you should have had something better to wear. What the hell was that on your head? That gold hat? And that white kind of Egyptian messed up number? Girl, that was a messed up number, girl. That was a messed up number. You was the worst dress at the Oscars. You even look worse than the men. Mm -hmm. You look awful. Miss, um, I forgot what your name is. That's just how good I can remember you because you was that awful. Miss, um, Rone. I think her name was Rone or something like that. Um, what was her name? Huh? Her name was, worst dress was Janine Rone, something like that. Whatever your name was, you was awfully dressed. You was a mess. Okay, don't ever do that again. Don't do that again. You're a small woman and you're kind of pretty, so you should have wore something a little bit more streamlined because that what you had on that church, going to church outfit wasn't working lady. Mm -mm. But Julia, you were fabulous. Julia Roberts was fabulous. And of course, um, let me start off by saying, talking about the hosts. Um, Adam Sanders and... Um, Sandra O. Oh. It was more like Sandra O. Oh, no. Don't ever do that again. Don't ever apply for the hostess job of the Golden Globes because you were awful. Really bad. And your clothes were worse. It's the Golden Globes. Go to a real designer. It shocks me that where was Valentino um, Chanel, or it, and if they were there, they're making the wrong clothes for y'all. And oh, I have so many issues with the Golden Globe. First of all, put somebody on there that we know. Put some people on there that we know. And for God's sake, you needed some entertainment to save Sandra O. Oh. oh, you needed some entertainment, real bad, because she was awful. Oh, she was really bad. 
But to be honest, you could have let Adam Sandler host the show on his own and he would have been better. Because you could see he wanted to run with it, but he was being scripted. But he would have done a better job just by himself. That's what y'all should consider next time. Y'all need to get Adam Sandler. And not only that, you should have pulled Eddie Murphy out of retirement. Jim Carrey was sitting in the audience. Why y'all didn't just bring him up and let him do a thing, do a spill or two? Come on, now. That was awful. That was really, really bad. Okay? Not only that, um, who else do I want to talk about? Um, those were your hosts, Adam Sanders and um, Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O, oh, I know you was doing groundbreaking because you're the first Asian woman to host the uh, uh, Golden Globes. But don't do that again. You you stick to um, Killing Eve and uh, that other show you used to be on, Grey's Anatomy. Stick to that. Don't don't host shows. You're not a hostess, okay? Um, now, like I said, my best dress went to Julia Roberts, and to um, and the worst dress was um, that girl, whatever her name is, Rone, Renee. Oh, I don't know what her name, Janae Rone, or oh, whatever. It was awful. But anyway. Now, I loved Lady Gaga's entrance. That was fabulous. But Lady Gaga, that was an Oscars dress, not a Golden Globes dress, Lady Gaga. I love you, but I'm sorry. That was an Oscars dress, not a Golden Globes dress. And second of all, um, I'm mad at you because you got the award and my boy didn't get nothing, Bradley Cooper. Mm -hmm. See, you got an award for something that you do well already, singing. But you're acting. What, what, what happened there, Lady Gaga? I love you dearly, but I'm not going to give you no break here because... Bradley Cooper was amazing in that movie, and he should have gotten an award or two. But that little boy who won for Bohemian Rhapsody, um, what's his name? Um, Remy? Mm -hmm. I didn't say Remy. Mm -hmm. I know some of y'all thought that. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Remy, I mean, or Malika. Malika, what was his name? That little boy there. Um, trying to see what they got written up here for me. Oh, his name was Remy. That little boy was fabulous in Bohemian Rhapsody. Fabulous. And he didn't deserve to get an award, but my boy Bradley Cooper was amazing in The Star is Born, and he should have got an award, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all should have given out two Best Actor Awards, because Bradley was something else with that Colonel Sanders suit on. Mm -hmm. Don't wear that suit again, Bradley. But I love you. Your acting, you should have got something. They gave Lady Gaga one only because she would have toured the banquet room with them. She wouldn't have gotten nothing. That big dress on, she was knocking people's drinks up all over the place with that big blue gown thing she had on. Lord have mercy. She tried to upstage Carol Burnett. Now, speaking of Carol Burnett, the diva was in the house. They could have got Carol Burnett to host it. Why didn't they get her to host the Golden Globes and, and then brought out the award for her? near the end to that would have been great that would have given her a reboot in 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 film and television and not only that that would have given her a great way out just in case if she wasn't around in a few years um that was a thought she did the most amazing speed i take my hat off my hair off to you um carol burnett because you were amazing now, let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about the red carpet so we can get this going. Okay, Sandra O, oh, don't host anything ever again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I want to talk about Regina King. Uh, she won, I think, Best Supporting Actress for um, Bill Street. Bill Street's trying to talk or something like that. Um, girl, you look good. I like the fact that you weren't overdone. But you had a little statement, a little cute little gown on that was cute. But for the Oscars, I want you to step it up. Mm -hmm. I want you to step it up a little bit. Get you a little bit more of an updo and something. Get you Chanel. Get a little white something. Get something in white because you'll look good in that because you look good. But white will look really good on you. Get you a white pants suit 
and no bra. Get you lots of cleavage. You know, it's a big oversized pant, tight, tailored pants, but with a big leg long to the floor. You look fantastic in that. Get a little cleavage showing in there. You look great. The other girl that was on there, I didn't like what she had on because she always seemed to wear the same thing. Um, the girl from Empire Cookie, um, Tajay. Tajay, Tajay, girl, I love you. And I watch your show all the time, Empire. But you got to dress a little bit better. You're making money now, so start dressing better. Mm-hmm. She, won a, she won an award for something. For, uh, you know, she was introducing the awards. Mm-hmm. Yes, she was. And, oh, let me explain something to Ryan Seacrest. First and foremost, when you're producing these shows, make sure that you get people we recognize. I don't know none of them women and even that queen that you had on eTalk. I didn't know none of them. And, I, and furthermore, they're not hostess at all. They they couldn't keep a show together for the, for the life of them. The poor Asian girl was trying to save the show. She really was trying to save it real big. Yet the, the other ones, they're not hostesses at all. Mainly the blonde girl with the ponytail, you could have left her home. Okay, she and the, and the boy, you could have left them home too. The black girl, she was trying. She was trying to get her little thing going there. But she t- didn't talk with, with um, she wasn't talking loud enough to get nobody's attention. She, she wasn't even, she didn't have that command, that command in the camera, talking like she knew she was talking about, oh, you need to get rid of all of them. They're awful. Mm-mm. The Asian girl, at least I give her credit for trying. She was trying to do something. And, you know, I mean, it's hard. I know it's hard in Hollywood to try to do these things and try to get these things going. I've been doing Oh, Lord, I don't understand it. Um, no, what am I doing? I'm gonna have to start this over. Excuse me, y'all.